Google released the source code for Android 16 back in June of this year. And ever since, the folks behind Lineage OS have been working on getting their update ready for over 100 different devices. But thankfully, that wait is over, and Lineage OS version 23 is officially here. This build is based on the initial release of Android 16, rather than the bigger QPR1 update. And that's all because Google has still not released the source code of QPR1 to the public. But let's take a look at all of the new features included in Lineage OS 23. And then we'll check and see which phones are able to install this new version of the popular custom ROM. Since we are missing the source code to Android 16 QPR1, we're not going to see some of the highly anticipated features in this update, like Material 3 Expressive and the updated desktop mode. But we do know that this update now includes the enforcement of Android's edge-to-edge -edge mode. It has the new predictive back navigation implementation and they've added support for advanced protection mode as well. The team has been working on their apps for this update, with Aperture, their default camera application, getting a complete rewrite, while also adding in support for JPEG Ultra HDR, RAW, and simultaneous RAW plus JPEG capture. It also received a new redesign notification island to help with dynamic colors and some new indicators. 12, the stock music player for Lineage OS also received a big update, including a new play random songs button, an updated now playing screen, the ability to rescan your local media store, They've added MIDI playback support, and they've even worked on expanding their Jellyfin integration with suggestions, favorites, and better thumbnail handling. Anyone using Lineage OS on a smart TV device can look forward to a new launcher as well. The app is called Catapult, and its goal is to provide a fast, clutter-free user interface that's also free of advertisements and recommendations. It's now possible to run Lineage OS in a virtual machine with the help of QEMU, so anyone wanting to tinker with this operating system in a virtualized environment now has an easier time setting it up. They've even had a contributor doing a lot of work recently to extend compatibility of Lineage OS for devices that are now capable of booting the mainline Linux kernel. Now, this is in its early phases right now, but when this is complete, it will help to get Lineage OS booting on virtually any device that's supported by the Linux kernel with this work already helping some maintainers get official ports of Lineage OS 23 working on previously unsupported devices. Here we have a list of the devices that are now supported by version 23 of Lineage OS. And these are the smartphones and tablets that have been bumped up to support version 22.2 of Lineage OS. I will be doing some installation and update tutorials for the channel really soon, so please stay tuned for those to be uploaded. I would like to start a new community questions video here on the channel. So, if you're having trouble with your Android smartphone or tablet, or maybe you just have a question about Android in general, then send in an email to questions 
at explainingandroid.com. And I appreciate you all for sticking with me to the end of this video, because it means a lot to see so many of you watching through to 100% to the end. Honestly, I'm still in awe every day that there are more than 10 of you out there watching the videos that I upload to the channel. Now, I have to ask that you all give this video a like. Please click on that new hype button that YouTube has been advertising lately. And subscribe to the channel too for more Android news content like this.